Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be telling you which is the best video editing software for small YouTube gamers. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get more views on your YouTube gaming channel, go to growonyoutube.com forward slash free chapter right now. When you go over there, you'll get to this page and you'll be able to discover the secret to getting more YouTube views with a free chapter of my book, A Gamer's Guide to Greatness. This free chapter will teach you how to use video SEO to bring more views to your gaming videos, how to make your videos rank on the first page of YouTube, and how to build a YouTube gaming channel that grows consistently. So definitely go to growonyoutube.com forward slash free chapter and start growing your YouTube gaming channel today. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from GrowingYouTube.com, teaching you how to be better. And as you can hear, I sound a bit nasally today. Uh, got a bit of a cold or what seems to be a cold, but I felt like this video needed to be out because so many people were asking me the same question. What's the best video editing software? Or oh, I'm using this. Should I use this? Which is better? And I felt like this really, really needed to be done. I needed to get this information out to you guys. We're going to be going over of my experience with video editing software so i'm going to be talking about the programs that i've used generally and i'm going to be t talking about the paid ones first and then i'm going to tell you some free options that you can try out now i'm not going to just get a list of video editing software and test them up against each other and do comparisons and all that sort of stuff because that'll take months take months for me to or at least weeks for me to test out different video editing softwares that I haven't used before and let you guys know which is the best ones or which is the best one for which situations and that sort of stuff. So if there are video editing softwares that I maybe ha I haven't used and you want me to compare those in a later video, then leave that in the comment section down below. But for this video, I just want to let you guys know what really matters out here and the types of video editing software that I've used and what it's good for. And that sort of stuff so first software the software that i currently use is adobe premiere pro although i am kind of moving over to a different software which i'll talk about that, that's the next point but adobe premiere pro is something that i've used for a very long time even when i was back at college and editing my music videos and doing that sort of stuff i used adobe premiere pro now it wasn't the first thing that i used but it's what i upgraded to and what i continued using for the foreseeable future even till today would I suggest new YouTube gamers to get Adobe Premiere Pro? No. Why is that? Because it costs too much. It's $20, no, it's 20 pounds every month. And when you're starting a YouTube channel, especially YouTube gaming, because you make a whole lot less through AdSense, I'll, I want to make a video on that, but um, I should have... Now, nah, forget. <laughs> Basically, you make a whole lot less. I will make a video on this, on why you make a whole lot less on AdSense. But you make a whole lot less than the normal people or people who aren't doing gaming. And most YouTube gamers, they come into this thinking, okay, AdSense is how, how I'm going to make my money. They don't think about the business around it and how to actually make more money. So you're making a pittance. You really don't want to add another monthly cost on top of you know, whatever you're doing. Otherwise, all the money that you're going to get is basically going to be paying off Adobe Premiere Pro. And I don't think that's good for a starting point. I think when you start out in online business, in YouTube, in anything like that, you really need to try and keep costs down as much as possible. So I wouldn't suggest going with Adobe Premiere Pro basically because of the price. It's a good editing software, definitely. Like it's, it's pretty straightforward. But to be honest, let's be real, most editing softwares, they do the same thing. Like, it's not like this software is going to be way better than this software. If you, if all you're doing is cutting and, you know, cutting out the bad parts, doing a little color correction, adding some music, doing a fade transition or whatever, adding some titles, you can do that in pretty much every, every editing software. The thing is, some editing softwares have better workflows. Some editing softwares have, you know, make things easier for you. That's where it really comes down to. So that that's the kind of thing I want to I want to get across. Don't worry too much about the editing software. Use 
what you have that is a very very important point that i want to get across use what you have yeah don't think okay jay's using adobe premiere pro or this guy's using adobe premiere pro i need to go get that to make my videos great no when you start out focus on the content the content is what matters make videos that people actually want make videos that people are searching for and then you will get traffic to your channel if you're out here trying to make the flashiest videos no one cares no one gives a shit let's be real no one cares at all you gotta make videos that people actually want and when you make a lot of videos that people actually want then you can start thinking hmm you know i've made a lot of videos that people actually want i'm bringing some income in because i know how to run a business if you don't know check out the link in the description i'll probably go i'll check out my live stream how to make more money with a youtube gaming channel that's not going to be on youtube forever i'm going to turn it into a course and then do like a paid course version so go check that out before it's gone and once you're bringing in money then you can start thinking about upgrading your software upgrading your gear but really at the beginning you can be using the ps4 share factory which i haven't used i should have list that in the um in the thing but that doesn't really count as editing software to me but you could be using that you could be using whatever you have at your disposal don't be thinking i need to go and buy this thing like I'm, i want to give you some idea of what you can buy in the future when you're ready or if you if you're making some income now and you're like okay i want to take it to the next level then fair enough but yeah adobe premiere pro wouldn't suggest it to people starting out because it's just a monthly cost and that's sucking money from you stay away from anything that's a monthly cost unless it's really really worth it like when i do my uh, my course membership or whatever that'll probably be really really worth it for you because it will help you make more money and the whole point is that you pay the monthly fee but you make more money because you're in the actual because you're using the the information and the courses and stuff that's the whole point so in a situation like that if you're going to join a membership site or that sort of thing then fair enough if you need specific software to help you run your business like your email list or uh, tubebuddy something like that then yeah go ahead with that but editing software bruv there's so many different situations and different software that you can use i just I, I just cannot in good faith tell you to go that way so the second paid software that i use that i'm currently using that i'm going to do a review on is called camtasia now camtasia is it's a great editing software but it's, it's mainly the, the whole camtasia suite is mainly to help people do screen recordings and tutorials and educational content yeah but I'm able, I use a lot of screen recording for my stuff. So that's good for me. Generally not going to help out most gaming YouTubers. So I wouldn't go to it for that. But what Camtasia has over these other editing softwares that I've used is they make it really, really easy to do like motion graphics and animations and, you know, things like that to help create an educational video like i could have points coming up on the screen and all that sort of stuff although i don't do that most of the time because i'm trying to focus on putting out the content instead of making it super flashy i want to put out more content which is what you guys should be focusing on you want to put out a lot of content around one subject and then once you've done that you've got your catalog then you can start being flashy that's that's my roadmap basically and i highly suggest you focus on doing that because that's worked for me in the past and i believe that's going to work for me now but yeah camtasia is really really good if you're making a bunch of tutorials which you should if you want to grow your channel make help content make content that people are actually searching for that people actually want and you're going to bring more people to your channel and then people will convert to watching your oh ooh. then people will convert to watching your let's plays and that sort of stuff you don't start with the let's plays or the vlogs or anything like that you start with making search friendly content that people actually want then you you know when you get people in that subscribe and whatnot then you kind of nudge them to watch your let's plays and your vlogs and that sort of stuff that is the content strategy which i've made a video on so definitely go check that out software number three is the el gato game capture software now i'm unsure if you can just download this and use it for free i don't i don't think you can i think it only works with the el gato uh, when you record on the el gato but when you record with the El Gato game capture, which is what I was using for a very long time, now I'm using the Ava Media. 
by the way, all, all, all my gaming setup and the stuff that I use to record stuff for my YouTube channel, that's in the description below. If you didn't know, I will be making a video on it as well because this, this was asked. Shit, I forgot to shout out the person who asked this question. I think her name was Shelby. Her name will be on the screen. Sorry about that. That was supposed to be in the beginning. But yeah, the El Gato game capture is very, very simple. Very simple stuff. You can cut and that's pretty much it i think you can add overlays and, and that sort of stuff but really all i'd use it for is cutting footage if you've got a straightforward tutorial then you know you can just cut that up and upload it to youtube that's what i done many a time when i didn't have you know an intro or title card and that sort of stuff and i didn't really need that or when i didn't have the time to do that and i wanted to put out a lot of content like you just cut those things out because they're not super necessary and you just focus on the content and that's what I'd done. It was easy to cut up videos, although it's not as good as a proper editing software because you can't see the sound as far as I remember, which makes it harder to, you know, find your spots to cut out and it makes it a little bit longer. So if you got the Elgato, use the Elgato game capture software if you want. Uh, it can work out for you. You don't really need all the bells and whistles really when you're starting out. You just need to cut out the crap parts, basically. That's all you really want to focus on. Let's go into the free editing softwares that you guys can be using first up we have davinci resolve this is something that i actually haven't used so i've got no opinion on it whatsoever but i've seen like their page and stuff it looks interesting it looks like something i would be able to use in the future um but i haven't used it so i don't really have an opinion on it i just want to kind of give you guys a list of free software that you guys can use all the links to all these softwares will be in the description as well because i know if you're starting that like when i was starting out, i was broke broke as fuck didn't have any money didn't have any money to be purchasing adobe premiere pro or any editing softwares so i want to give you guys the opportunity to get into this thing and you know start growing your channel and start putting out content without making a high level investment. So DaVinci Resolve, I suggest you check it out. It Maybe something that you like. Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker was the first editing software I ever used, I believe. I used that to edit my first few music videos and they look shit. And Windows Movie Maker, I don't know what it's looking like now because I haven't used the most recent version, but it's very, very simple. It's, it's kind of like the Elgato game capture software. I'm assuming that now you'd probably be able to add pictures and that sort of stuff. I'm hoping, but it's really, really straightforward cutting stuff. You know, you may have a transition or something and then, you know, you just cut out the bad parts. That's basically what these editing softwares are for. And I'm, I'm unsure if you can do any color correction in Windows Movie Maker these days, but when I had it, I didn't know about color correction. And if you're making gaming videos, you don't really need to do any color correction. What you really need to do is just cut down the, sh the shitty parts. You just need to cut out you messing up and you being silent for a long time and just cut to the action. And for that, you can definitely use Windows Movie Maker. You can use any of the free options that we got on the list. Next is iMovie, which I personally didn't use, but I've seen other people use iMovie. You can always tell when someone's using iMovie because they use the stock titles and all that sort of stuff. And it just looks like, okay, you just did this in iMovie. Which is fair enough. Again, cutting out the bad parts, you can pretty much use anything. Go and use iMovie if you've got a Mac. Use Windows Movie Maker if you've got a Windows PC or something. Use what you have. Keep that in your mind. Use what you have. Don't worry about investing into a lot more software. Get a hundred videos done. And then you can think about investing and upgrading your stuff. Just get to the point where you know how to make good videos and some of them are resonating because when you get to that point you can see which videos are working then you can double down on those videos and then refine the process like that's what it's all about you do a lot of stuff you see what works and then you do more of that stuff and you make it better and then you you see what works and then you know you just keep on you keep on going inwards and inwards so that's what i suggest and the last one is filmora again haven't used it heard of it Someone told me that they're using it. Uh, just wanted to list off some free stuff that you guys can use. As honestly, haven't really used a lot of video editing softwares. Well, once I hit Adobe Premiere Pro, like I stayed with that for a very, very long time. 
only now am I considering moving to Camtasia and I'll probably still use Adobe Premiere Pro for certain things. But yeah, I want to get off that monthly payment, P. <laughs> this monthly payment is dead. Unless I, you know, up, when I make enough money to invest in the Adobe Premiere Pro suite and I can get Photoshop and all that sort of stuff, then I may go down, down that route and get everything. But right about now, it's like, pff, it's not worth it for you guys. Really, really not worth it. So, big takeaways, use what you have, master that, and then think about something else. If you want to try any of the free ones that I mentioned, link will be in the description. I definitely suggest, you know, trying out a few th free software to see what resonates best with you and see what you enjoy the most. This is a very individual thing. If I like a software, that doesn't mean you're going to like it because it might... It might work in a way that works really, really well for me and how I like things to go, but it may not work in a way for you that helps you work quicker, which is the, the goal. You want to be more efficient and you want to be quicker. That is what you want to learn. You want to get better at editing. You want to get faster so that you can put out more content because that is, you know, putting out more content is the best thing. So try and focus on learning how to improve your process so that you get quicker in terms of editing. I'll do more videos on like how to edit and how to create editing templates and all that sort of stuff to help you make your process faster so that you can put out more content. Please let me know what video editing software you're using in the comment section below. Let me know if you like it. Let me know which video software you'd like me to compare and all that sort of stuff. And I'll look into reaching out to the companies and seeing if I can get a code or something to see if I can compare it. I hope this video helped you out. I hope it changed your mindset and how you're approaching looking for your video editing software. And I hope it's got you to the point where you're focusing on just getting better with what you have and doing that before you think about, you know, I need to get this because you can get the best video editing software in the world. It's not going to make your videos better if you don't know how to use it. You need to know how to use it. You need to know how to edit in general. And as I said, that skill is something that is independent of these softwares. Just learning how to edit better is something that you can learn on Windows Movie Maker. And then you can transfer that skill to Adobe Premiere Pro or Camtasia or whatever. Because they all basically operate the same. You can cut clips, you can delete clips, you can add pictures in some of these, you can move pictures. You can move clips, you can resize. Like these are just the basic things that most video editing softwares have. And the rest of the bells and whistles and all that sort of stuff. That's for, you know, in the future. Don't worry about that. So yeah, hope this video helps you guys out. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video where hopefully I'm way less nasally. Peace. If you want to learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment. Or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you